Okay, I'm here at my local Dollar Tree in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. We're going to go inside and see what's hanging on the pegs. Okay, I'm here at my local Dollar Tree in Beaverton, Oregon. And we're going to see what's hanging on the pegs. A lot of the stuff I probably already have. Uh, yeah, a lot of the stuff I'm pretty sure I already have. But I wanted to make a video record of what's hanging on the pegs. You know, Hot Wheels section is basically bare. A lot of uh, peg warmers, you know, models that people don't want. Um, yeah, but let me look through some of the cars and we'll see what we got here. We got, I already have that one. That's actually a nice car. Actually, wait a minute, do I have that Fiat? I'm not sure if I got that Fiat. You know what? I don't think I got that one, so I'm going to go ahead and get that one. And, yeah, I don't think I have the Fiat. Not the orange one. Okay, and then we have... Uh, what's this one? Do I have that one? I'm not sure I got that one. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and get it, just to make sure that that I have it. Okay, so, got all that. Alright, yeah. Yeah. For some reason, the beautiful orange Fiat is going to be a peg warmer. Okay, do I have this Jaguar? I'm not... Not sure if I got that Jaguar or not. Yeah. Um. Hmm. You know what? I think I'm gonna go ahead and buy it. I don't think I have it. Uh. Got the Morris Miner. I got this. I got this one last week. It's a pretty car. The Jeep. It's pretty nice. Um, yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. You can tell the peg warmers. Like these here, that's a peg warmer. I don't like the way Mattel Toy Company is using black plastic for the windows. If it, wasn't, if it weren't for that, I would actually buy this model. I would collect this one because I actually like the model itself. But the thing that keeps me from buying it is those black plastic windows. I hate that. It makes the models look so cheap. You know, so cheap. There's a short card. I think this is the only place where I've found these short cards. Yeah. These short cards. Here at the Dollar Tree. I think this area, they do get some of the international packs or car packs. See, that one's cheap because only, only the bottom is die cast metal. The rest of it's all plastic. The body's plastic. Yeah. So they ruined that otherwise beautiful model. Um, I don't think I have this one. Um, what is that one? I don't think I have that one. That one there. It's a pretty car, whatever it is. But you know what? Mercedes. Okay, that's a Mercedes. Alright. So I'm going to get the one with a better card. Yeah, that's a Mercedes. So. Yeah, I'll go ahead and get that one too. I don't think I have that one. Um, I don't like these. These here with like. The glass rooftop, black plastic, whatever. I think those are ugly. That's one of the reasons why I never buy the tel the Tesla Matchbox. I think Tesla is so damn ugly. It really is ugly. Ugly cars. I like 
the rocket ships, I, I just don't like uh, the cars. The cars and trucks are ugly. For some reason, these, this one, are the Jeeps, the orange Jeeps, are peg warmers. I don't know why, but yeah, they're peg warmers. Okay, what's that one? Do I have this one? Yeah, I got this one already. Yeah, I got that one already, so yeah, I don't need that another one. What else we got? Yeah. See, those are peg warmers there. I see a bunch of those hanging up. Nobody wants them. They're ugly. They're freaking ugly. And I got these here. I have this car already. I think it's a nice looking car. I'll be showing a lot of these in a, in a near future video. The ones that I have already. Yeah. Okay, so let me pick up the ones off the floor, hang them back up. Yeah, I got a bunch of them. That's the Hot Wheels there. Hang that up over here with the Hot Wheels. And uh, yeah. Yeah, these little compartments right here, these six car cases right here, they're pretty good for storing your cars. Um, they're like a dollar twenty-five, and they're good for storing like six of your favorite Hot Wheels or Matchbox cars. There are some jerks on eBay that are buying these up on Dollar Tree, and then they're reselling them on eBay for like five, five to ten bucks each. So be aware of that. All right, now we're looking at the Hot Wheels are hanging up. For a fantasy car, that's actually a nice looking car. I like the orange and black, the Halloween uh, color theme. I've always liked that, that, you know, orange and black ever since I was a kid. But look at them, they're peg warmers. You can see the peg warmers. Yeah, look at that. What is that one? Yeah, what the hell is that? Mod ride? It's, uh, it's ugly. Look at that, it's ugly. But I like this one. I bought this one already. This is the Leap Year car. I already bought that one. I'll show it in a near future video. Yeah, but they're peg warmers too. And that car is ugly. Absolutely ugly. I say about 90% of all Hot Wheels today that are being produced today are ugly. They're ugly. And they're mostly, you know, plastic with some metal parts. What the hell is this? Like, what the hell is that? That thing's ugly. Ugly. Look at this. That's ugly. Ugly cars. Wait a moment. What's this one? I don't think I... Do I have that one? What is that one? I don't know if I got this one or not. I don't think I do. That was actually a pretty car. I like the, I like this car. It's, it's actually pretty nice. Yeah, pretty nice. Yeah. I don't know. I'll buy it. Those are my cars down there. <laughs> Gotten that big puzzle put together but, yet? <laughs> yeah, these are all ugly. Yeah, the peg warmers. Throw it down. Okay. Alrighty. Okay, this here is where I find the glitter vinyl for my turntable. And it comes in different colors. Uh, it's that stuff there. And as you can see, it kind of like, it reflects the lights like glitter, you know. 
So you can put this like on your turntable to have different uh, color backgrounds, you know. It's a glitter of vinyl. I think it's like peel and stick, but the, the adhesive is not that strong, so you can easily peel it back off. But look at that. It's like glitter vinyl. Also comes in brown, in case you want. I think this is the one I use for my asphalt in the turntable videos I'm doing now. And then we have this blue color. This would be good for showing um, Hot Wheels on the turntable. You know, blue is a Hot Wheels color. This is how I think you use this black stuff here. Uh, it's like a really dark brown, I think. This is the glitter vinyl that I use, I think. It's either this one, actually, no. It is this one that I used. Yeah. I used that one. Um, yeah. Then we have, like, silver over here. You know. Yeah. Just to give you some ideas for your backgrounds, for your turntables. You know, when you show your cars, Matchbox Hot Wheels cars on a turntable on your YouTube videos. You can use stuff like this to make your videos look better. To make your cars, the backgrounds around your cars look better. Yeah. Just thought I'd show you guys that. Yeah. All right. I'm here at my local Target in beautiful Beaverton, Oregon. And we're going to go inside and see what kind of Matchbox cars and Hot Wheels cars and other die casts are hanging on the pegs. All right, here we are in the diecast aisle, and we're going to see what's hanging on the pegs. All right, this is what's hanging on the pegs for Matchbox. Yeah, for Matchbox. So let's see what else we got. Uh, yeah, not much. I think Oregon has the lowest priority as far as getting in toys because we get we, we might get one case of Matchbox cars one case of Hot Wheels cars every two or three months yes you heard that right you don't get many cases in of Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars like it's taken these pegs have been empty basically for over two years and they just now started filling them up just now recently they just now started filling them up. Yeah. And so the scalpers come in and they quickly buy up all the, the cars that people want so that we can't find them. And they sell them on eBay. This track right here, the orange track is ugly, but if you ever find the black track, that's the rare track and it looks more realistic. That's the track I buy. That's the track you need to snatch up. You ever see that, that track in black with the orange stripe down the middle? That's the track you want to grab. Sells for, you know, that track sells for a lot of money on eBay. Okay, we got some Ultra Hots here. Uh, the only Ultra Hots I buy are the ones that have a metal body and chassis. This has plastic chassis. This garbage. This garbage. A plastic chassis. These are peg warmers. Gee, I can see why. Now I have, I'm pretty sure I've got this one already. This is a good quality Hot Wheel. It's got a metal body, metal chassis, ultra hot wheels, very fast car on the track. That one you should buy. This one you should buy. That's a nice car. And it's only, well here at, at Target, they're $2.99. Um, they were $2.59. And I think they are two fifty nine, like at Fred Meyer and other stores. So yeah, yeah. I'm gonna put this one way in the back again, like this. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And like I said before, um, about ninety percent. Yes, it's that high. About ninety percent of all of the new Hot Wheels cars are garbage. 
Don't waste your money on them. They're garbage. Absolute garbage. Look at this. Who in the hell would buy this crap? Except if they want to buy it for the kids to play with. These are not for adult collectors. You can see what the peg warmers are. Nothing but crap. Plastic with some metal parts. Look at that. I rarely ever buy Hot Wheels anymore because they're garbage. Absolute garbage. Yeah, even the so-called premiums. What, they want $6.49 for what? For that piece of garbage? Are you kidding me? Only a dumbass would pay that. And look at these. Look at that. $17 for two little cars. Only a dumbass would pay that. Absolute dumbass. Plast they don't even have metal chassis. They have plastic chassis, you know, thin metal bodies, and if they want what? $17 for that? Yep, only a dumbass would buy that. Yep. And look at this. What the hell is this? Oh, is this an RC car? I didn't know that they were making 164 scale RC cars. That's kind of cool. Actually kind of cool. Now these cars are mainly for kids. The Mario Kart and all this stupid cartoon and Star Wars crap. I'm getting so sick of fucking Star Wars. Sometimes I think the only reason why they make the movies is to sell the merchandise. This is what I'm thinking. Winter Circle, who the hell is that? Some no-name brand trying to jump on the die-cast bandwagon. Yeah, good luck. Good luck. And somebody stole one of these cars. Yeah, that's the, the packaging right there for that. Okay. Uh, let me get my bag. I don't want anybody to steal my bag. These are some of the ultra-hot sets right there. The cars are ugly. In fact, let me get down a little bit lower, see that a little bit better. Yeah, the cars are ugly. The sets are ugly. I mean, look at that. What the hell is that? You know? Okay. So let's go down here, take a look at the Matchbox cars. Uh, these have been hanging up here for a long time. I already have all of these. I uh, already have all of these. Yeah. Got this one already. All of these. Well, the ones that are nice. Now, these moving parts car, $259. That's actually a very good price for those. I don't like the packaging. Oh, sorry. I don't like the packaging. They should have cellophane, clear cellophane over that to protect the car. The box should have square ends, not at an angle like that. I don't like the packaging at all. But the cars are nice for $2.59. They are nice. They do have opening doors or hoods or whatever. And some of these are actually very nice. I do buy these, and I will show them on my channel. Okay, so stay tuned for that exciting content. Now, what I don't like about these, you notice it says recycled metal. The cars are no longer being made out of die-cast metal. The reason for that is because zinc, which is one of the, the metals that are used for die-cast metal, is getting very hard to find. So, Mattel Toy Company is now using recycled metal to make their cars instead of die-cast metal. So, yeah, I don't like that. I don't, know, I don't know how well the recycled metal is going to stand up through the years. So, yeah. And we got this one, uh, this one here, what is it? Yeah, the Volkswagen, what is it, 1965 Volkswagen, opening doors. I like the wheels, they're nice. Yeah, the wheels are kind of nice. $2.59, okay, I will buy these. Let me get my bag. Yeah, I'll buy that car, I think that car is nice. I bought this one last time I was here. I bought this one. This is a very nice car. Highly detailed, nice hood. I think the engine's detailed. Very nice car. Yeah, this is the one I bought last time. Yeah, so I already have that one. So, uh, I think I will go ahead and buy um, this one 
here. Yeah, I'll, I'll buy that one. Yeah. I think... Yeah. Now, tomorrow, I plan on going to Fred Meyer in Beaverton. And, you know, for me, it's i got to wait, you know, till tomorrow. But for you guys, it'll be within a few minutes. You know, because it's going to be the next segment of this video. Uh, the thing I don't like about this... I don't know if the body is made out of die-cast metal or not. I think only the chassis is on this model. But I'll go ahead and buy it. We'll open it up and see. But, yeah. Yeah, I don't have that model. Okay, and we got... Yeah, I got these. I got that one last week. Yeah, I bought that car. That car there is actually very nice. That one there. That one's nice. Um, I don't like these cars. The Teslas. I think the Teslas are ugly cars. Even the real ones. They're ugly. I hate the way that roof's done. Ugly cars. I don't know why people are in the Tesla. 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 Probably the same dumbasses that, that waste their money. They're stupid enough to buy and use Apple products. They're the ones that buy Tesla. Just to be different. You know. Bravado. Ego. Yeah, there's those. Okay, peg warmers. Well, the white. That one in the back, that's a peg warmer. I see a lot of those hanging up. And apparently, I'm not the only one that hates these pet these Tesla cars, because these wind up being peg warmers, too. Okay, let's take a look at the five packs. That five pack up there is ugly. The only car in here that I think is nice. Let me see this five pack. Oh no. I do buy the five packs and I show them on my channel, but it has to have at least three cars in it that I like. And so far, one, two, well this one does have, well that has black windows on it. And that one, the whole roof and windows is plastic. So yeah, that just ruins this five pack. I won't buy that one. Yeah, that five pack is ruined. We have this five pack right here. The Tample is what makes a lot of these cars and trucks ugly. I like that brown one. That one's nice. But I think I, I, I get these in a regular range too, the blister pack range. That one's kind of nice. I might buy this one and show it on my channel. The MBX Road Cruisers. Yeah, I might buy that. I'll think about this one. I'll put it back for now. Let me sleep on that one. That's what I usually do for a lot of the five packs. And then here's the police cars one. Um, ugly. Yeah, ugly. I don't like any of those. Um, let's take a look at this five pack. The only vehicle I like in there, I like that, it was a Jeep Cherokee. You have the Jeep, old style police car, looks kind of cool. The tractor, no thank you. That truck with the black windows, no thank you. That there is ugly. So yeah, only two vehicles in this five pack, so I won't be buying this one. Yeah, ugly. Okay, here's these. That one there is a peg warmer in any color. Nobody likes that car. That one's kind of nice. What is that blue car? Porsche 918 Spider. That one's kind of nice. The truck, I don't like. I don't like the way Mattel Toy Company does the back of the trucks. Looks like the interior overflows through the rear window onto the bed of the truck. That is so ugly. It makes the, the trucks look cheaply made. I don't like that car. What is it? Yeah, I don't like that car because the all-glass roof, so ugly. So yeah, there's not enough cars in here to justify me buying this five pack. And we have this. Um, I do like the blue car. It's nice. Mustang's okay. I might actually buy this five pack. It looks pretty nice. 
I think I might have already bought this five pack. Okay, Coffee Cruisers five. I'm going to buy it again just to make sure that I have it. I can always return if I have it. I don't think I have this one. So I'll put it over here with the rest of the cars I'm buying. We've already taken a look at this set and the police car set. So, yeah, now I have to go up to the front counter and pay for that stuff that I'm, um, that I'm getting. Okay. Okay. These are, this is one of the places where you can find 12-inch um, diameter uh, wood to make your turntable surface bigger, you know, larger than 6 inches. But you got to make sure that when you buy these, they're only five bucks each, but when you buy them, that they're flat. Set them on the floor because the floor is flat. Make sure they're flat. They're not warped. Then when you get them home, you prime them and you paint them. This will keep the moisture that's in the air from getting to the wood and eventually warping that wood. You want that flat. And on the other side, okay, uh, on the other side, you put in three places like either one by one wood small pieces of wood you know or for for like little rubber feet or something something that you can easily center that on your six inch turntable okay and then the glitter of vinyl that I showed you earlier you cut that to fit on top after you prime and paint this you want to use satin paint and then that will stick to that and then when you put that on your turntable and you zoom in you see nothing but the background and the car and that's how I do it so yeah I just thought I'd show you this all right I'm here at my local Fred Meyer Walker Road beautiful Beaverton Oregon and I'm going to go inside and see what kind of Matchbox and Hot Wheels cars are hanging up on the pegs. All right here we are in the toy aisle and we'll take a look at what's what kind of Matchbox vehicles are hanging up. Um, got this car already. Uh, the special edition cars. This whole there's I think seven cars. This whole set. I'm only missing two of them. And I'm looking for the actively looking for those. Okay, we got that stuff there. Okay, what cars? Oh shit! Did drop one. Oh hell no! I don't like that Tesla. Don't like that Tesla. That Tesla's like those Tesla cars are ugly. Damn right, just outright ugly. What car is this? That one I don't like because it's got like all glass roof. I don't like cars that are like that. A lot of the modern cars are like that. That's so ugly and so damn stupid. Yeah, I don't like that. What other cars you got here? Peg warmers. Uh, What is this car? I don't think I have this one. The Cadillac in black. I don't have this car. I was looking at what's hanging on my pegs at the house, and I think I have the red version of it. This is a 70 year one. I don't have this one. Yeah, it's a 70 year, uh, 70 years one. I don't think I have this black one. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one. I'll put them over here as I'm getting. I forgot where I was. <laughs> anyway. Okay, so we got these. Okay, I think I've got that one already. I know I've got that one. In fact, I think I showed that on my channel. So, yeah. Okay. I collect these. 
I love these Baja Bugs because Volks I'm German, so the Volkswagen is one of my favorite cars. And I think this is so cool. But do I want the Dots one? I don't know. Even though I like the car, I don't like the tampo job. I don't like the packaging, so I'm not going to get it. All right, what kind of uh, five packs do we have? I got this five pack. In fact, I showed it on my channel. I showed that one on my channel. That one there is ugly. It's ugly. Uh, this one here. Um, I don't know. I don't know. The top three cars are actually nice. I like those. I might buy this whole five pack just to get those three cars. What are they? The Cadillac, uh, Mercedes, a Honda, and these other ones in the bottom, they're just matchbox. Yeah. They're fantasy. But the top three, how much are these here at Fred Mother? On sale for four. On sale for what? Four dollars and ninety-nine cents. <coughs> Excuse me. Which is a good price for these. So yeah, I think I'm gonna buy this one. I think I'm gonna buy it. Uh, I've already shown that one on my channel. That one there, that five pack there, I've shown on my channel already. Yeah, it's two of them. This one we looked at when we were at Target. This uh, five pack here, we saw this at Target. So I'm not going to get that one. Um, we saw this one at Target. Well, it's the same one. So, yeah. Um, this one. I'd like to get it just for that one bug, the Baja, Baja bug, but I think I have that in a normal blister pack range. I like that middle car. Was that a Jeep, the middle one? I like the Jeep. That one's pretty. Yeah. But the rest of them are ugly. See, remember my rule for five packs. There has to be at least three cars in there that I want in order for me to justify buying the five pack. And in this five pack, there's only two cars that I want. So I can't justify buying this one. And we got this one. I really like that top car. It's nice. The middle, well, the second car is nice. Jaguar looks pretty nice. But those other cars, well, that blue one's not too bad. But the see it has black windows though. I don't like that when they have the windows are black. And then that bottom car there, the windows and a roof is plastic. That makes that vehicle look so cheap, cheaply made. I don't like it. But the top three, those look pretty nice. So I'll get this five pack. And remember, I'll be showing all these five packs in a near future video. So stay tuned for that content. And then we have uh, this one here. I, I already bought this one. And I do plan on showing this one on my channel real soon. This five pack right here. It's really nice. The Volkswagen five pack. I love all five of those cars. They're very nice. Very nice. Okay, that one there. Ugly. I don't like just the, the folks, the Baja bug on that one, so it's not worth buying this one for the rest of them. Ugly. That one there is ugly. Okay. That one I won't buy, and I already told you why. I only want just the top. Uh, actually, no. I am getting this one. Because the top three cars are nice. Yeah, this one. Um. Am I getting that one? Let me see. Yeah, I'm getting that one. Okay. Only because of the top three cars. Now that there, those are ugly. Yeah, they're ugly. All right, next up. 
we've got, I already have this one. That's actually a pretty car. Um, I'm not going to mind this one because of the way the wheels look. See, it's too much space. Too much space between the fenders and the wheels, I think. So, yeah, I'm probably not going to buy this one. Yeah. Yeah, you can see that they're peg warmers. Nobody wants that. Oldsmobile 442. A lot of people are probably thinking the same thing I'm thinking. We got for Skybusters. That's kind of cool. Kind of cool, that Skybuster. And then we got that plane there. Well, let me see. It is up here. We got that plane. Yeah, Skybusters. I've actually got some nice older Skybusters from the international years. Okay, we got this helicopter. It's kind of cool looking. The helicopter. It's cool looking. I like it. Okay. And we got all of these cars down here. Oh my god, man. I've already went through all of these. Those power grabs. I don't know what makes them power grabs, you know, it's just a fancy name. Yeah. Okay, we got more die cast up here. Yeah. And we got these motorcycles for people that are in the motorcycles. Yeah. What kind of car is this? Burago? I hope I'm pronouncing that right. Burago. That's kind of a cool looking car. Too bad I don't collect 143rd scale. And I don't collect Burago. I only collect Matchbox and Hot Wheels. That's right. Here's some no name brand. You know, they're trying to get in, jump on the bandwagon, the die cast bandwagon. Good luck with that. Yeah, good luck with that. Got some cars down there. Yeah. Cars down there. Let's take a look at some of these Matchbox play sets. That one. And we got that one. Yeah. I think the building is too, not deep enough. It doesn't look realistic. Yeah, it doesn't look realistic. And we have, uh, what, a 70-year 10-pack. Yeah. That 10-pack right there. Matchbox 10-pack. Any other? Ten yeah, we got that 10-pack there. Yeah. I think they want, like, $13 for that 10-pack. Yeah. Yeah, I might actually get that one, because that's the 70th anniversary. Matchbox 70 years. I might wind up getting that one. Yeah. How many cars are like? I like that one. I like that one. That one looks nice. I don't know though. That might have the the plastic windows and roof. I don't like that. I like this truck. That red car is nice. Yeah. Yeah. There's enough vehicles in there that justify me getting that whole ten pack. I'm not. I'm not going to get it today though. Not gonna get it today. So Alright, let's see what we got for Hot Wheels. They're way too expensive here because these right here, they're two ninety nine everywhere else, including Target. They're two ninety nine everywhere else. They want what? Four forty nine, three ninety nine on sale. Yeah. Yeah. I got this car already, though. I got that one. For some reason, even though this is a beautiful car, the Lamborghini Myra, they're peg warmers. I don't know why that is. And we have this car here. Um, they want, like, I think 
eight dollars for that car. It does appear to have a metal metal base, metal body. Yeah. I don't like it though. I think it's ugly. That car is ugly too. It's ugly. Here's that. Well, that's metal base too. Okay. All right. Okay. And we have this Hot Wheel here. Uh, I don't know if I like that car or not. Lamborghini. Metal base, metal body. It's just not, not my type of car. Not my type of car. I don't like that one. Um, what is that? McLaren F1. McLaren F1. That paint job is a little bit too dark. It's too dark. That car would have looked better like in white or yellow or red. Yeah. That color is too dark for that car. Too dark. Alright. And then we have... 55 year anniversary car. Uh, I don't like it. Too much plastic. Way too much plastic. <clears throat> what do we have over here? Uh, yeah. Junk. Mostly plastic with some metal parts junk. It's all junk. The Hot Wheels today are junk. And I don't know what it is about these gasser cars that everyone's raving about. That is, th these are ugly cars. They're ugly frickin' cars. I'm just making sure it's not a truck around. <laughs> um, yeah, I think they're ugly. I think these cars, the gasser cars, are ugly. I don't know why they're so popular. They're ugly. Frickin' ugly. Yeah, they're ugly. Yep, they're ugly. And we got some more Hot Wheels over here. Yeah, all ugly. I don't even think I'd like these cars as a kid. I wouldn't want these cars, even as a kid. Now, this car I like, and I actually bought this one already. I have this one. Uh, I will be showing this in a near future video. Yeah, I like the. also have the white one, too. I think the white one was the first issue. I have both a white one and this yellow one. So, yeah. Uh, what is this? The hell is that? That thing's ugly and stupid. Yeah, it's ugly and stupid. Oh, they're on sale. Four for five bucks. Hey, I want to take advantage of that sale. Oh, yeah, man. Take advantage of that sale. Let me see. I don't think I have this one. Oh, no. It's got too much too much of a glass roof. I hate those cars. They're ugly. What we got? Hmm. Alrighty. Got that Corvette, but I don't know how I feel about those the way they did the flame job. What the hell is up with that? Yeah. What the hell is that? Up with that. The way they do the flames, that looks hokey as hell. Look at that. Plastic base, thin metal body. Yeah, I don't like it. Yeah, ugly. Yeah, most of these Hot Wheels are ugly. They're ugly. Mostly plastic with some metal parts garbage. Look at that. All garbage. Even this truck here. People are raving about this ugly truck. What the hell? That truck's ugly. Look at that. It's ugly. It's ugly. Look at that. That's ugly, people. Yeah. 
ugly. Yeah, that's why I, I usually don't buy Hot Wheels anymore. I only buy the old ones, like from eBay. I go on eBay and I buy the older ones because they're a lot nicer. Metal body, metal chassis. You know, they have nice paint jobs. They have history behind them. They're really nice. What is this one? It's a colorful looking car, I can tell you that. Is that a treasure hunt? Sometimes these real colorful looking ones are treasure hunts. You know what? Oh, wait a minute. That looks like it's all plastic. Oh my god. The base might be die cast metal. The body is all plastic. Look at that. Plastic garbage. Oh my god, man. Absolute garbage. I don't know why people collect the new Hot Wheels. They're crap. Alright, so there's what? An 8-pack? Right there. An 8-pack. And then we have these. They're nice looking cars. But I don't think I'd pay $21 for that, that six-car set. I think that's ridiculous. That's highway robbery. I would never be stupid enough, yes, stupid enough to pay $21 for that six-car set. Yeah. Yeah, I'd never, I'd never buy that. I have the 143rd scale vehicles. And we have some more ugly-looking sets. And they are ugly. I mean, oh my God, they're ugly. Look at that. Ugly crap. Definitely not what we're used to playing with back in the 60s, 70s, early 80s. Well, actually, 60s and 70s. We had some really cool sets back then, track sets. But this stuff here, it's ugly. Look at that. It's, it's ugly, man. Look at this. They want $37 for that ugly, that ugly stuff right there. $37 for that ugly crap. Oh, my God, man. Ugly. All right, let's go over here to the rest of the Hot Wheels car cars. Um, this one here I showed recently on my Hot Wheels channel, Desirable Hot Wheels. I have the original first issue, which looks just like this, except I don't know if it has the uh, sunroof or not. But it looks just like this, Calax Seville. Okay, but it has a metal chassis and heavy metal metal body. It's a really nice looking car. And I'm planning on doing a video where I show the difference between, you know, the original version of these cars and these new plastic crap that Mattel is putting out today. Yeah. Much rather spend a little bit more money and get the actual original of this car. The one from, I think it's from the early 80s, like 82, 83. Metal body, metal chassis, and I do have, I have the rare metallic gold one too. Yeah. So let's see what we got here. Yeah. See, like this one here. I like stuff like that, but it's metal chassis, plastic body. Mattel needs to knock it off with all this plastic crap. They need to knock it off. Too much plastic. And they're just going to wind up losing their customers. A lot of their, their collectors, their adult collectors, they'll, they'll, they'll just wind up losing them. Yeah. They'll lose them. I don't know how I feel about that truck. I think it's ugly. A lot of you think that's just absolutely gorgeous, but I think it's ugly. Ugly. I don't like how tight they have these. You know, you can't even go through them without dropping them. They'll fall off the pegs. 
Yeah. Yeah. That's ugly. Oh my god. Man. Yeah. What is this one? Now I normally don't look for treasure hunts. I think only stupid people do. They they waste their time and gas, run all over town looking for a super treasure hunts or whatever. But if I find one, yeah, I'll get it because I'm not stupid. I could turn around and sell it for a lot of money. Like I found that Corvette super treasure hunt. I paid what? A dollar eighteen cents for it. And I recently sold it on Craigslist for fifty five dollars. So yeah. I'm not going to keep it because like all Hot Wheels, I see most Hot Wheels that are being produced today, they're garbage. Plastic with some metal parts, garbage. Even the super treasure hunts. And have you ever noticed that most of the treasure hunts, even the super treasure hunts, are ugly cars? I've noticed that. Cars that would, that would normally be peg warmers, they wind up being treasure hunts and super treasure hunts. Because this is the only way that Mattel Toy Company can sell these ugly cars and trucks. It's the only way. See, I would like this vehicle. If it didn't look like, okay, the back part of the bed was coming out the rear window and overflowing out into the truck bed. That looks so ugly and so cheap. Look at that, the way that's made. It makes an otherwise nice looking model look cheap and ugly. So I won't be buying that one. Even though these are on sale today, it doesn't look like I'm buying any Hot Wheels. They're all ugly. They're all garbage. Look at this. Look at this. I haven't found one Hot Wheels car that I'd want to add to my collection. Not even one. That's pathetic, Mattel. I mean, come on, man. Your Hot Wheels today, they suck. They're ugly plastic with some metal parts garbage. I don't know why people still collect these. And why do people show these ugly cars on their YouTube channel? I mean, come on, man. Like this 80s, what, 80 Corvette or whatever? I have the original vintage versions of these where the hood opens up and it's got a metal chassis, metal body. Those are the fucking Corvettes that you want to buy, not this shit. Look at that shit. That shit. It's shit. Yeah, look at that. Ugly crap. Let me tell you, look at this truck. See? That thing's ugly. Mostly all plastic up on the top. Look at that. It's ugly. Ugly frickin' truck. Mmm. Ugly. And this car here, what the hell's up with that car? Ugly. Ugly damn cars. I don't know why people still collect Hot Wheels. They're ugly. They're garbage. Yeah, here's the white one. I have this one. I think, yeah, new, yeah, it says new for 2023. This is the first issue of that car. And I have both of these with mint packages. Yeah, the packaging gets messed up because now Mattel Toy Company is starting to ship Hot Wheels in those those round barrels. Whoever thought that that was a good idea clearly has his or her head up their ass. And I would tell them that to their face. I would. They got some stupid people working at Mattel Toy Company right now. They really do. Stupid people. Look at this. Yeah, those barrels there is what I'm talking about. Whoever at Mattel Toy Company thought that was a good idea to ship the Hot Wheels in those barrels like that, clearly have their head, their heads up their ass. And like I said, I would tell them that to their face. Look at this. They force you to, to dig through those cars and it just messes up the cards. Messes up the cars. I don't know why they would think this is a good idea to do this. Look at this. Look at how the cards, they wind up getting all messed up. You know, look at that. I wouldn't buy any of these out of here. Yeah, even a super. If I found a super treasure hunt in here, it would be ruined. It would be ruined. The package would be ruined. And so the value would just do a nosedive into the crapper. I mean, just look at this. 
ugly cars too. I mean, look at this. Ugly cars. What the hell is that? That thing is ugly. Now you see why I prefer Matchbox. Because Matchbox, even today, even the modern Matchbox cars, they're superior to Hot Wheels. They really are. They really are. Today's Hot Wheels cars, they're crap. They're garbage. Look at this. Actually, that car there is nice. I like that car. But it's got a metal, I mean, excuse me, a plastic chassis. Thin metal body, plastic chassis. I much rather have the vintage ones. You got to pay a little bit more money on eBay. You got a vintage one that has a metal chassis, metal body. They're much nicer. And it'll have the classic black walls with the Kreger mags. That's right. This car is kind of nice looking for being a fantasy car. It's nice looking. I like it. But again, plastic chassis, thin metal body. It's garbage. And for some people, I mean, for some reason, people like this ugly thing. That thing's ugly. Look at that. It's ugly. Downright ugly. Okay, we got another box bin over here. Now, I do like this Corvette. I've always liked the Corvette Stingray. Always liked that car, but again, too much plastic. Plastic chassis, okay, thin metal body. It's mostly plastic with some metal parts. Now, I would prefer to get the vintage Corvette Stingrays, hard tops, that have thick metal body and metal chassis and the basic black walls of Kreger mags. Okay, not this piece of crap here. But it is still a nice looking car. I do like the way it looks. Now, sometimes, okay, some of these cars have the headlights up, and some of them have it down. I'm pretty sure that's the way they have some of these. Yeah. See, I would buy this one. Um, if the card wasn't messed up, I would, act, I would have bought that one because I like that one. That was nice. I like that one. Metal body, plastic chassis. I don't like the plastic chassis. But I would buy it if the card wasn't messed up. Yeah. What else we got in here? Just looking to see what else we got. What the hell is that thing? See, that's mostly all plastic. See? It's ugly. Ugly garbage. Yeah, ugly garbage. Look at this. There's that one. I do like that one. I do like that one. And I do have the white one and the yellow of this one. Mint in the package with a nice package. So, and I will be showing this on my Desirable Hot Wheels channel, so stay tuned for that video. That was kind of cool looking. Count, Count Muscula. <laughs> but again, too much plastic. That would have been a nice car if they would put a metal chassis, metal body, with the basic black walls, Kreger mags, or the Ultra Hots wheels. Or even the Hot Ones wheels. That would have been a really cool car. See, Mattel Toy Company, they need to hire me to manage the Hot Wheels department. Trust me. I would make Hot Wheels great again. Sort of like what Donald Trump wants to do for the United States. And a lot of you dumbasses, you know, you don't want him to do that. Well, you're dumb. But yeah, if Mattel Toy Company hired me to manage Hot Wheels, I, I would make Hot Wheels great again. I would. Yeah, I don't, I don't even want to dig through this crap. I don't want to dig through all that.
I mean, even though that, that car right there is really big, it's a large vehicle, it feels light. That means it's mostly plastic. I think only the cha well, now the chassis is plastic too. I mean, well, what stack has metal on this one? You know, it feels light for its size. It feels really light. Lightweight piece of garbage. Yeah. The cars like that are stupid. That's stupid. The trucks are ugly. All that plastic. Look at that truck. Ugly. All that plastic. Plastic garbage. Look at that. Ugly. Even the Nomad. Okay, okay. I want to show you guys this. Even the Nomad has been greatly cheapened. It no longer has a metal chassis like it did before. Thin metal body. Right? In fact, I think even the body is plastic. Oh my god, the whole thing's plastic. And then the hood. Okay, the hood no longer opens up. Oh, no thank you, Mattel. I will not be buying this garbage. Much rather have the, you know, buy the Nomads, classic Nomads from like 1960, what was it, 1969 up to about 1995 when they were all metal. Metal body, metal chassis, opening hoods. Yeah, I would bring those cars back if I had managed uh, the Hot Wheels department at Mattel Toy Company. I would actually bring back the Sweet 16 Red Lines, and they would be made just like they were made between 1968 to 1971, with those Delrin bearings, those Spectra Flame paint jobs. I mean, I would bring back the fastest metal cars you have ever seen. Yeah, Mattel Toy Company, you need to hire me to manage your Hot Wheels department. I would make Hot Wheels great again. That's right. Look at this shit. What, what the fuck is that? Pardon my German. But I'm serious. What the fuck is that? My God. More ugly shit. My God, look at that. Okay, I've had enough of this. Anyway, 